We've got a bit of a cloudy day on tap across the Queen City as scattered showers start to head our way. Let's get right over to Chief Meteorologist Tara, Tara Lane. And Tara, we are just looking at those storm clouds are kind of moving in. When are we going to see that here in Uptown? Later on this evening. So definitely as we get to say closer to midnight or so, we will start to see more of those showers moving in. We already have some of that rain approaching parts of the Charlotte Metro. Talking about, say, northern Mecklenburg County, maybe out toward Mooresville. As long as all of this continues to hold together, we have some heavy rain. And look at this, some lightning strikes. So these have grown into some stronger thunderstorms moving through, headed right into Cheryl's Ford, Denver area, that part of Lake Norman and on down into that northern part of Gaston County. There's more rain on the way. We look back off to the west. Friends in Hickory are hearing some rumbles of thunder outside. Those flashes of lightning, maybe seeing some of that outside your window. And then we've got more of that rain crossing over. Burt County, light to moderate rain. It's all pushing in from the west. What's happening in the atmosphere today, we have a cold cold front heading in from that direction, but also working with a wave of low pressure off to the south, and that's just lifting all of those scattered showers and storms in our direction. So right on into the night and at least the first half of the day tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with the possibility of some of that rain. So just a heads up there if you have some of those outside plans. Temperatures today getting a little bit milder than the 61 that we had yesterday, 64 degrees with little more of a milder flow with the wind shifting more out of the south, southeast at about eight miles per hour at last check, but we're still chilly. Look at you all in the mountains sitting not far from freezing upper 30s right now. We've got 47 in Morganton, but this warmer surge coming in across the Queen City and especially off to the east. Look at you all in Shira sitting at 72 degrees right now. So tomorrow again, we've got that warm front lifting in and that's why we have the warmth that is off to the east there. We have that warm frontal boundary kind of pushing in some of that milder air, but it's still in the process of moving through the area. So until that system completely clears and that won't be until really Thursday, we'll hold on to the chance of some additional rain and maybe an isolated storm. So tomorrow, definitely a day to still just have that umbrella handy. Take the rain jacket just in case temperatures will be back into the mid 60s into the afternoon as the clouds hang on. We may see some breaks though of sunshine here and there. I'll show you that coming up here as we take a look at future cast. So as I said, through about midnight, we'll continue to get more areas of rain, heavy pockets possible, an isolated thunderstorm right on into about seven to eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So at this point, I would say plan for a little bit of a wet commute from the Charlotte area points east. And this is what I was talking about. So by three to four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see a little bit of clearing taking place. Overall, a drier afternoon for you all in the mountains and foothills as most of the rain pushes off to the east. And so by later on tomorrow evening, that's where it is. We're going to start to dry out a little bit after the rain coming in later on tonight and early tomorrow and then Thursday right now is looking mostly dry for our area with most of the rain focused over central and eastern North Carolina. The fuel for any additional thunderstorms, mainly from Charlotte South and East. So this is for tomorrow. This is aside from the storms that we're seeing out there right now. Not expecting a high risk of severe, but certainly, as I always say, when thunder roars, you need to bring it indoors. Thunderstorms will be a possibility again into tomorrow afternoon. How much rain are we looking at? Most rainfall totals staying just under an inch, but with any of those heavier pockets that could quickly add up here by the end of the day on Thursday to about an inch to close to two and a half inches of rain there to the east of Charlotte now toward Richmond County, but check out the changes coming up on that seven day forecast. We return to full sunshine really starting Friday and we'll see some of that on Thursday too and warmer temperatures. Look at that around 80 degrees for Easter Sunday.